in my early days on YouTube during my pro-black blackity black <laughs> I was still I was influenced by black conscious teachings in my early days I still had a lot of that in me and I would make many videos of which was not hate speech but of course Google would uh, determine and they would make a claim false accusations that whatever I was speaking about was hate speech towards people we call white or pink people. I prefer to say pink people. That's racist. That's racist. It's not racist. Who called me black? Who called me African American? Did you ask me? Did you ask us as a people? Do we want to be called African American or black or, or colored or Negro or the famous N-word? And these, especially the N-word, these words, colored, Negro, these come from a hateful place, a disgusting place. So if I call you, if I call white people pink, it is not from a hateful place. It is coming from a more realistic place place because you are not white. This is white. You are not white. You are pale or you are pink or you are uh, light red or colorless or whatever. But you are not white. White also means pure in your language, English. In other languages it might white might mean something else but in English, white is pure, holy, clean, kosher, and we know you are not those things. That's hate speech. See, Google is right. That's hate. That's not hate speech. Show us that you're clean. If you was clean, holy, kosher, pure, you would never had been engaged in slavery. You would this nation would not have engaged in the murder of millions of melanated brown and black red people. Nor would you be engaged in certain scrupulous activities around the earth so that you can become rich off the backs of the poor, the impoverished. But that's another topic. And I am not lying. It is not. It is true. Backed up by your own history books. How are you going to get angry? If I am speaking hate speech, then you need to take down all your history books because you are saying the same exact thing in your history books. In fact, I was taught this, these things by pink people. Or white people, however you want to claim. But I was speaking and put in the title of my videos, making reference to white this and the white man this and blah blah. The, the blackity black, pro black. That's why many of them confuse me with a lot of this black conscious, pro black, pan African type talk. I'm I've never been that. However, there's there's a problem. And I have to talk about the source of the problem, and the source of the problem, unfortunately, is Caucasian or white people. So, they would flag my channel, which of course was expected. Google would take down my channels, of course, which is expected, because I would exhibit, I was falsely accused of hate speech. However, when I took Google to court, they could not prove it. It's, 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 it's amazing how people make claims, hate speech and other things 
But if they had to prove it, they cannot do it. So they did not prove this hate speech in a court of law. This is fact. Now, during this period of time, there was a couple of people, or a few, I would assume they claimed to be white supremacists. They claimed to be white racists. And in response to what I was talking about, the white man this and the white man that, or the pink man, they would call me the N-word. Now, many pro-black, blackity-black, black conscious channels, many of them refuse to entertain and go back and forth and talk with white races, white supremacists, or white people, period. They don't, I'm black, I don't, I don't do that. I only talk to black people, except on the job. Uh, Mr. Murray, that's my boss, he's white. <laughs> Fake ass folks. Okay, so I remember one of them called me the N-word. And they were shocked because I was like, okay, speak your piece. I let them and had no problem with them calling me the N-word. And then we actually began to talk. I let them talk. I let them be who they were. I did not sit around and try to uh, tell them how offended I was and it's an insult and you are racist. Talk. Say your peace. Let them talk. There was a word, some probably still use it, but there was a word called mental retardation. And there's an uproar. That sounds so nasty. It sounds so insulting. You mentally retarded. So now they use other words to describe mental retardation. Retardation is nothing but a slowing down. It just means slow. Slowing down. Slow. That's all it means. Mental retardation means your mind is retarded. Your mind, you think slow. So we call people that's mentally retarded, we call them mentally disabled or some other word because it sounds better. I feel better about myself. You're still mentally retarded, but now you give me a different word. Just like some of us feel shame being a janitor. You a janitor. You clean toilets, you mop floors. Oh no, I am a housing supervisor uh, sanitizer. It sounds better. We don't want to insult nobody. We want people to feel we want people to feel good about themselves. You are a housing supervisor sanitizer. That's what you are. You're not a janitor. We feel shame. So we give these titles so that we can feel better about ourselves. Now, those of you who drive trucks, you know that there is a, and we use a retarder in the truck. And what the retarder does in the truck simply is help slow the truck down. A retarder. Now, it's all right for you to call your truck a retard. Oh, but no. It's not a person. Don't call a person retarded. No, don't don't do that. We want people to feel good about themselves. We, but the, the reality is, you're still slow. What difference do it make? You still a janitor. You still mop floors. You are a housing uh, uh, sanitizer, whatever you want to call yourself. Cause it makes us feel better. So we live in an environment. That has been created, I guess they say by I don't keep up with all this political stuff. It's too too many labels, too many titles. But this this era of what we call political correctness. We're trying to be politically correct in a diverse nation so we don't hurt people's feelings. I don't he he insult me. 
called me the N-word. He called me a honky. He called me blah, blah, blah. He called call me a, 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 the F-word uh, or whatever. I, everybody's so sensitive. If you live in a diverse nation and you sensitive like that, you really shouldn't be, you shouldn't even live in a diverse nation like that. So because what has happened and the result of political correctness is now many of us are forced to lie. Many of us are not true to ourselves in the public. In the public. So we stay hidden. We stay in the shadows. People will look at me and in the shadows call me the N-word but in my face in the public on the news on a music video they're not going to call me that so you're not being real you're producing a bunch of people in this country who are not real gays and lesbians have been in this country for who knows how long but they were in the closet they were hidden and in the early 80's when people found out about some of them, many of them were killed. But when it's all said and done, they are there. Some will try to be themselves. You can't be yourself because I hate you. So you have a, lot, a group of people that hate your guts or whatever. But no matter how much you murder, no, ma no matter how much you kill or make mark it up, it's still there. They're not going nowhere. No time soon. But people can't be real. People can't be themselves. People can't express themselves. You live in a diverse nation. And you can't be yourself. Now as long as you're not violent. Now as long as you're not hurting somebody. We should be allowed to express ourselves. So we can talk. So we can have an understanding. But that's not the point. If you call somebody inward. Everybody and their mama want to jump out. Don't call it. That's racist. And, and you're an evil guy or, or, or whatever. Now, mind you, in this country, they've been doing it for hundreds of years anyway. Like, so what? What's the big deal? Why is everybody so got... Woo! Why is everybody so damn sensitive now? So you got a person that you're talking to, your boss, uh, the, the person at the grocery store, the, the, the person at the post office, whatever. They look at you. And they might like you, but then also at the same time, they might not like you. They cannot express that because I got to keep that to myself. But when they get home, man, I had to deal with all them in them in words today. This is the reality that we're dealing with. People cannot be real in the United States of America. So for some, it gets to the point where it explodes. I'm coming out. I'm going to be me. I'm going to express myself. So you have something like this Buffalo, New York mass shooter, this young teenage boy that was influenced by whatever and he probably didn't get that he couldn't express himself it just built up in him and he lashed out and many of us view him as so evil, so wicked but then there are those in the shadows and some of them not even the shadows. And some of them are real slick. They actually support the Buffalo mass shooter. But they have to keep their feelings hidden. People cannot express themselves how they feel about things. So maybe there's an opportunity. Maybe we can talk things out. You cannot talk just like in a marriage. You cannot Work. You cannot have an open and honest marriage unless the husband and the wife are true to one another. They can want you can you should be able to express how you really feel to your husband or your wife. I just recently went through some drama last year. I called the purge because I told somebody exactly how I feel. I want to be honest. And they did not like that. We don't like true people. We want people to lie to us. We want people to deceive us. 
under political correctness, you want to force your ideas, your self-righteous ideas upon others who don't agree. Political correctness means you have no respect for others people view because you're self-righteous. Everything, how you feel and how you look at the world is true. Self-righteous and arrogant. You are the moral authority on everything. So nobody else can express themselves because they are the evil ones. They are Satan. And so as long as we live in a country like this when people cannot actually express themselves how they feel, then you live in a country of fakes and frauds because when it's all said and done, it's there. So if I don't like the if I don't like the N-word, if I'm a teacher or a police officer, if I'm in a position of authority, I'm gonna st I'm gonna use my job to hurt the people anyway. I don't have to be like the teenage silly guy that go to a grocery store and shoot people up. I can be a police officer. I can be the president. I can be somebody in a job that I can hurt you, deny you, deny you, uh, uh, incarcerate, deny you release from jail. I can stop you from getting a good job. I can use my my position to hurt you. I don't like gay people. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do whatever I can to stop gay people from doing all this. Is is in people that cannot express. They cannot express themselves because the self righteous majority, the political correct family, gonna jump on you. And so there's an explosion. I'm gonna show you. It's gonna have to be that all that built up in people is gonna going to be released and in the past there were countries and there are still countries that force religion on people and these different ideologies on people and so they have to stay hidden they have to stay in the shadows they can't really be who they are so they buck down in fear but sooner or later the Christians rose the Muslims rose and in this country the gay and lesbian community Rose, it was hidden at one time. It was secret at one time. But sooner or later, it comes out. Politically, politically correctness only does not help us. It only produces fakes and false people who aren't real with one another. We shouldn't have to live in that type of environment. We shouldn't have to live in a country, you should not have to live in an environment. If you don't like somebody, I still got to serve them. I still got to try to like them. You shouldn't have to do that. There should be a way where we can be diverse, be respectful to one another, and yet still support and maintain this nation called the United States of America where everybody benefits. And people aren't trying to force their way of life, their ideas, their religion on other folks. So we're going to always, so there's only other one conclusion and that's violence. Rebellion. That's what you're going to get because people cannot express themselves. We cannot, I cannot talk to, you cannot talk to another person without I'm insulted. You hurt my feelings. But yet and still we look so stupid when more than your feelings get hurt and somebody take out an a, a AR-15, an AK-47 or any of these guns because maybe they could have talked with somebody but they couldn't express themselves because you're full of hate. Political correctness is nothing but slavery forcing your ideas 